sponsors royal spark gh capital cafe and restaurant note cosmetics ghana zahana shoes bay clothing accra city hotel moon's beauty parlor Assalamu alaikum Ghana. This is the maiden and the grand audition for Miss Muslima Ghana. And we are all gathered here today at the Cross City Hotel where beautiful and modest ladies are all gathered to battle it out for the crown. Today, we are bringing you a lot because this is just the first and the maiden audition for Miss Muslima Ghana and where we have a lot to give you and a lot of suspense. I know you are also hoping to see what we have on our sleeves. And today, this is Homo giving you all the updates that comes with this. Stay with us. Miss Marcelema Ghana. Quena, hello, Mombuz. Ah! 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 Yamaka Kre! Push hard! It will go! Push! Melika one, Melika one, Melika one, push! Next time, you use power jet car battery. Na in your home, what will be able to go? Want your mama? Yeah, the power jet car battery do you get a nia. Power Jet Car Battery come in sizes. They are durable and affordable. Contact the Rocks and Ventures on 0209-570-913 or 0208-090-789. Oh, damn! <laughs> Mr. Power Jet Car Battery, we can't get more Power Jet Car Batteries. Oh, what that day? day. Champion Rain Movement Rain Papa. Um, excuse me. Hi. Um, but your perfume rain how you see. Rain Body Splash from Pinaman Cosmetics. Here you are. Pinaman Cosmetics? Yes, Pinaman Cosmetics. Why? These are quality body sprayer. Pinaman Cosmetics, the Obama Cake. Pinaman Cosmetics, your quality women body splashes. This is Royal Cardi Desire. Royal Cardi Global. Royal Cardi Charm. That leaves you refreshed. Royal Cardi Body Splashes, quality products from Pinaman Cosmetics. Masalema Ghana. Want. 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 Hi everybody, my name is Habib Vasanai and I am the head judge of Miss Muslima Ghana 2020. Um, I've seen the girls, they're beautiful. They are nice, they are, they are everything I'm hoping to see here, you know. And um, I'm looking forward to not only see, you know, the normal pageantry look that is the slim, tall, you know, <laughs> it's beauty and brains. And when we say beauty, not just outside, inside. And when we say brains, not only about, you know, world, worldly knowledge, we want someone who is Islamically inclined. We, we want girls that are Islamically inclined, we want girls that know, know they are left and right and the Islamic way of course 
Um, we're hoping for the best. I do wish the girls all the best as well. Thank you. Wa alaikum. I'm Asia Mohammed Shakib. I guess judge for Miss Muslima 2020. Because it's, a, it's an Islamic show, obviously, we expect the ladies to be versatile in their Islamic knowledge. At least, as a Muslim lady, you should know something about your deen, the basics in your deen, and what have you, what will help you in your day-to-day -day Islamic activities and so on. So I, I expect to see vibrant young Muslim women with their Islamic knowledge, vision for this program, what they will do for their community, what they will bring to the table, and not just beauty, but the brains behind those beauty. Hello, my name is Muniyotu Adams. I'm a judge for the Miss Muslim Ghana 2020. I just have a short message for the contestants. I expect that they should be bold as possible, very, very bold, and should be able to as well give accurate answers to the judges and I wish them luck. ladies are set to go and see the judges and they are very well poised but before then I'd like to quickly acknowledge our sponsors so Miss Muslima Ghana is probably sponsored by Accra City Hotel, Note Cosmetics, Capital Bar and Restaurant, Kelhu Kezana, inspired by D, Fadiga Creations and Break Creations so please before anything I'd just like to know how are you I'm good so are you ready I'm ready you you seem a bit tensed no so what are your expectations? You know, this is the first of its kind. So what are you expecting? Actually, yeah, I'm expecting everything. Everything. Like anything are you sure you happen. make it? Yeah, I'll make it. I'm wishing I you know. all the best. Thank you. Hi. OK, don't worry. I'll ask you another one, right? You were talking about, yes, in her form, I mean, your form, you were talking about um, to inspire politicians past, you know, laws, that would favor Ghanaians. It was an inform. I didn't write that. Yes, this one. So, um, so, what projects do you intend? Are you the one that does the form? Yeah. Uh, okay. The first day so, do you want me to read it out to you? Yeah. Okay. What projects do you intend to show them? Uh, sorry, should you be crowned Miss um, Muslima Ghana 2020? And you said protecting the girl child mentally, physically, emotionally has been an initiative very dear to my heart. I will use this platform to help the less, the less fortunate, the homeless, the poor to fight for climate change and also inspire politicians to pass meaningful legislations that would improve this lives right, to be honest okay that would prove the lives of Ghanaians that's what you you mean right yeah, I wrote it and I wrote another one again. no that was the reason the first one is the reason why you want to be a part of the pageant yes. right yes. the second one is should you be a winner or should you yes be crowned the queen would you what would you want to do so literally asking about your project Right? And this is what you said. So, yeah, so how do you intend to do that? Are you going to use your own money on the street to help people of that sort? Or how are you going to do that? I intend to fund my project. I intend to fund my project by the help of the elderly, the leaders. And every support of myself, if I should be in this Muslim Ghana. Great, right. I'll come to you. You're very tense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll go to Rihanna and then.
so you said you work at learning school. Okay. Tell us about it. It's the National Disaster Management Organization. We educate the people about how to protect themselves before a disaster occurs, or how to protect themselves in case it occurs when they are not aware. We educate, educate them on safe havens, where to stand when a disaster occurs in your room, and then we help them in case the disaster occurs, and then we less the of those people. Have you done anything so far personally? Um, in my work. Work. With, within your home or your surroundings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can we educate the students about the community. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we didn't have any problem with your husband. Oh Hi, no. Actually he's the one asking me to do this. So I'm doing this for him. Hey, <laughs> because mm, I would tell them you know how they are. Yeah. So I'm happy. Wherever he is, shout out to him. Yeah. And may God bless him. Um. Believe it or not, most of our Muslim families or communities, you know, the intensive ones, they don't, they don't want their wives to work or their children, their girls. To you know, they are more of the home, home, home people. How do you intend? Let's say you have that running, okay? How do you intend to convince a typical Dagomba man that his daughter is supposed to try and do something you know, handy to her? Um, I think that's easy in this modern world because. Um, like you were saying, most of them don't want their girls, their wives to work. But I believe that was before. Now... I'm saying that, that's why I'm saying that. I'm not saying it's entirely like that. Okay. I'm saying the few ones that are still like that and training their children to be like that, how do you intend to remove them from that circle? Okay, so um, I'll, I'll let them know that once their wives or their daughters are able to learn a skill, they, they will be able to help them both financially and physically. So I would just appeal to them and then let them see um, 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 the benefits of letting their wives and their girl child learn a skill. For example, um, let's say they don't want their children to be university graduates because most of them have the mentality that at university students do whatever they want to do. Yes. So a vocational education program, and that is going to be like um, a, a normal um, level of education to teach them skill, like a handiwork they can rely on no matter where they find themselves. You, your project that you you'd love to embark on. Yes. Um, if I'm called Ms. Muslima Ghana 2020, I would like to bring an enhancement on the level of education within our Zongo communities. Yeah. Um, because basically, um, people see, um, most um, outside people or everybody see people in the Zongo community, especially the youth, to be people who, are, um, who lack knowledge, uneducated, and um, they look down upon them, like, I don't know, they belittle them, they don't respect them a lot, um, because they, um, they have lower educational backgrounds and stuff. So if I'm called Miss Muslima Ghana 2020, um, I would like to bring an enhancement upon their education. Mostly, some people are less privileged. Their parents um, lack the funds to um, support them, um, continue their education. So. If I'm called Ms. Muslima Ghana 2020, with the help of the Minister of Zongo, Inner City and Zongo um, Development, um, we will create a scholarship fund for students who want to continue their education. Since we have the free educational, um, free SHS system now. So after the SHS, anyone who wants to continue their education and the parents are not able to fund him will qualify for the scholarship with the Zungo Development Fund, if I'm coming. I'm particularly excited speaking to these ladies. I mean, they are made of a lot. 
and I want to know everything that they are made of. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? Zainab. Zainab. And where are you coming from? Adenta. Adenta. Yes. All the way to this place. Yes. Please. Give me five. Give me five. Give me five. So, what are your expectations? Um. Do you so expect the judges to be to cool? Be calm, yeah, cool. They should be calming down. They should like. They should, <laughs> exactly. They should be calming down. down. Exactly. <laughs> Your hometown. Yes. I didn't see what you wrote there. I've not heard of it. Prime. Pare, like pare, pare. But then the pronounce the spelling is prime. Yeah, but then they pre, uh, pronounce it pare. Okay, so. Tell us more about Sihon. Okay, so Para is um, one small village in uh, um, Sunyani. And then it's not known. Okay, it's a village. And then the people of the village speak a um, variety of languages. They speak um, Fulani, Fulani, the most over there. And then Gonja and Dagbani. I'm Fatima Tumusa. I'm 20 years of age and I went to Shama Senior High School and I completed in the year 2018. Yeah, I'm an extroverted person. I'm very extrovert and I like being around kids. Actually, I'm not doing anything. I was actually teaching. Yeah, I was a teacher. So during the COVID-19 and all, I stopped. First, Marilla. I'm 22 years old, a level 400 psychology student of the University of Ghana. My mom is a trader and my dad is a mechanic. Okay. I'm a self-disciplined and a self-motivated person who loves to read, sing, and watch documentary. I have the ability to lead a team to achieve a common goal. I love to work with a team. I find strength in my attitude. That is, I take challenges and tell myself I can do it. But my weakness has always been my intolerance to uh, intolerance in leniency. I'm not lenient when I'm working. That has always been my weakness. My short-term goal has always been a prayer to get such a platform to grow my career and watch the organization grow as well. My long-term goal has always been to become a successful and a great entrepreneur, a good mother to my unborn kids, and a good wife to my husband, a good wife to my husband, and also to make mama and papa proud. Thank you. My Mahama Safa is my name from Accra Technical University. I'm 23 years old. My mom is a businesswoman. My dad is a businessman. Teenager, right? How do you impact lives in just your home? So your mom's life, your dad's life, your siblings. You have younger siblings or no? A younger brother. Okay, so let me just talk about your younger brother. How do you impact positively in his life as an older sister? Thank you very much for your question. I'm going to do that by asking, doing the right thing. And I'm going to um, try as possible, educate myself, do the right thing. And I think I'll be his role model or something. He can look at me as... Um, someone like at least my big scissors like this and why don't i also follow his right her right path yeah that's what i think i can help them by doing the right thing schooling getting to the higher level of education and helping doing the right thing what's your favorite verse in the quran uh sura sorry mm. Because I'm Kausel. <laughs> I, I knew it. Uh, that's why I asked you. And you can recite yes, this, please. Do you mind? Aunzu billahi min al shaytan al rajim. Bismillahi rahman al rahim. Anna thayna kal kausar. Fasalli al rabbik rudan. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
Yes, yes. Let me talk to you. Hi, Hello. to my yes, right. You know, in, in the Quran, there was an accusation on Nanaisha. Yes, right? What was it about? And there was a revelation of a surah to ease of that accusation. Okay. Like just something small okay. around it. So then. I know that she was accused of adultery. And the surah that was, me sorry, was mentioned about was surah to Anur. Yes, please. And, um, let me even ask uh, some my uh, question. In school, how was it being a Muslim girl, you know, coming back, praying, prep? How was it? I'm going to speak the truth here. Tell yes, me. So. Tell me, because I've, I, I also went to a boarding house. I went to St. Mary's. So. Okay, so I I didn't expect what I actually experienced in Wesley Girls because being a Muslim was very tough for me. And um, it's, it's actually a Methodist school, so apparently we're supposed to go by the do's and don'ts, yes. So being a Muslim was very tough. I mean, you, you could barely pray. Every time is everything, there, every, everything over there is timed. So it's like we have a routine we follow and Trust me, we had to go to church, we had to just do what the Romans do. And it's up to you to actually um, believe or not to believe. I mean, if you have a bringing from home that you're a Muslim girl, and then you are somewhere that you can't actually practice what you believe, you should actually know that you're just doing what the Ro Romans do when you go to Rome. So you just play by the cards, and then when you're home, you do also what you're doing. Thank you. Miss Marcelema Ghana. Can you recite any surah for us? Any surah that you can show us in English? Okay. Aunzi billahi mina shaitani rajim. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. Inna anzalna ufi layla til kadir. Wa ma adira ke ma layla til kadir. Layla til kadir hayrun min alfi shaha. Tanazal al malaika tuwaru hufiha. Bi izni rabbi min kulli amur. Salam will hear Hatta Matala Ail Fajr. It's about the last days of Ramadan. We go and pray during midnight. And I think the surah is basically about that, that last 10 days of Ramadan. We have people bombarding us with insults, saying that Miss Muslima is wrong and how do we make a religion have a pageant and all of that? Let's say I'm the one doing that right now to you. How are you going to defend the pageant to me? I am going to advise them to be strong. Most of them are not bold. Some of them are not courage. They are scared. Some of them feels they wouldn't be embarked when they speak out. So I believe I'm going to tell them it is high time we fight for our rights. So if you are timid and you feel you are being um, pressured or you are, you, are, you, are coded, you are coded in other way around, it is high time you bring out, you talk, consult anybody you think you, you can talk, well, you can speak loudly to, so that anyone or any of us can come out together and then help. What do you intend to embark on when crowned Miss Muslim Ghana 2020? Thank you for the question. I would like to embark on making the youth and parents especially aware of dyslexia because I have an experience my kid brother has dyslexia and growing up with dyslexia is the it's a learning disability. It's an inability to be able to read. So um, the child finds difficulty in recognizing the letters, S -s comparing it to the movie like Stars on Earth. It's just like that. So my brother growing up, he had dyslexia. And we thought he was just lazy because growing up, he was the only male 
child within our mess. My dad gave him bicycle and everything a child needs. So we thought it was because of that. But um, somewhere last year, my sister learned about dyslexia. She compared it to my brother and then she watched the movie again and said she thinks my brother has dyslexia because my brother is 15 years and he finds it difficult to read. And we thought he was just lazy. We did a test, we did a psychology test. It came out positive that is dyslexia. And we've tried to explain it to my dad, but I think he doesn't really get the perception about dyslexia because I think he doesn't believe that it exists. So I feel like a lot of children out there are suffering from dyslexia and they cannot, they like, they don't know who to talk to because every, he feels, he or she feels pressurized and they think that like, if they say it, they will not believe them or something. So I want to make, I would like, if crowned, I would like to make the youth aware of dyslexia. Hi. Hello. How are you? Okay, good. How did the whole thing go? <laughs> it was normal. It was cool. Very normal. Like you didn't feel tense to be. Oh, actually, whilst entering, definitely, you know it's normal. You're going to be. Yeah, but when I entered, when they started, their faces and then the way they smile and everything, I, it was cool. Okay, so you have gone through the process and you've seen whatever happened. Are you hopeful that at the end you'll be given a green light? Okay, I believe the most important thing they need here is confidence. Yes, so I went in with confidence. So I believe I'm going to succeed, so I have succeeded. The project you decided to embark on if you're crowned Miss Muslima is you would want to help the brilliant but needy students in the Islamic yes. community. Yes, yes. Where brilliant means, where exa like when I say where brilliant means, like what, in what sense do you, <clears throat> what exactly are you talking about when it comes to the word brilliant? Brilliant, yeah, we have some students, they, they are good, they are good in school, like when it comes to Academically, so, so academically brilliant. Yes. But what of those that are brilliant when it comes to s their skills? I've or not yours looked into just that. Yeah, academic academic wise. Wise. But um, what's your highest level of education? SHS. Please. SHS. Okay. And have you thought of going to uni? Yes, please. I have it in mind. Okay. You should. You should. So, what's your favorite verse? Uh, why do I keep on saying this? Yeah. Um, surah. My favorite surah is Inna Atina. Inna Atina. Do you mind? I should. Okay. Ahozo belay milal shaitan rajim. Bismillah irrahman irrahim. Inna tuina kali kausar Fasalli li rabbika wan ar Inna shani akawal abatar Thank you. How do you explain journalism? Journalism is um, sending information to the public to inform them about new things that are happening to the world. <laughs> okay. Also, journalism, um, it's, it's a form whereby you go out, gather information, um, uh, let it go into process, and then you now send it out to the public for them to understand what is going on in the outside world. So what's your favorite surah? So you can sing it out to us. Mm -hmm. My favorite surah, Salam um, Surah Al Fil. Okay, so sing it out to us. Mm. Some three verses. Mm. Okay. He likes yeah, it. Your voice is so tiny, so I'm sure you, yeah, you can really so sing. <laughs> so give it, give it to us, so that all the men here would, do, do, do them. How do you call it? Convert into Islam immediately. <laughs> hmm. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashabil fil 
Alam yaj'al kaidahum fi tadli Wa arsala alayhim tayran ababi Darmihim bihijaratil misijji Faja'alahum ke asfil makul You know in the Quran We have surahs that don't have basmala like bismillah And we have others that have bismillah and in the verses there are also bismillah can you mention one surah like that um surah to tauba the repentance it has no bismillah and surah to an am that's the ant it has two bismillah yeah. two bismillah can you recite the verse that has the bismillah in you <laughs> Introduction, please. I'm Mohammed Ruida. I'm Mohammed Ruida. Yeah, from Kumase Padaso. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah. Oh, alaikum. I'm Ramat Mohammed. I'm from Medina. Hey, all of you are Mohammed Mohammed. That's nice. Hi. So, let me ask. Okay. We celebrate to eat, right? Okay. So, tell me their names. Tell me their names first. Edo Fitzel and Edo Ada. Okay. So tell me the significance, right? Yeah. Of Edo Adha. Of Edo Ada. Okay. Significance of sorry. <laughs> significance of Okay. Okay. For the Edo Ada, it signifies when um Allah asked um prophets, one of his prophets to sacrifice his son. Come again. What is his name? His name. Prophet Ibrahim. Yeah, to sacrifice his son as a sacrifice. Yeah, I think that's what they do. The sacrifice. And the son's name is Ismail. Sorry, Ismail. <laughs> Sorry. Ismail. Yeah. Okay. You told me the story. So what is significant? Oh, okay. What's the importance of what happened? What exactly does the whole thing happen? I don't understand. It's the eat of what? Eat of. Okay. It's a. Sorry. It's a eat. It's a eat of. We celebrate it um to remember what happened back then. Yes, remember what what happened back then. It's my ill. What she wants to know is the significance. I know what happened. I was there, but I'm actually I'm asking you. <laughs> what I'm is it? Please, I'm still not. I'm not getting the question. So what it means, like, why do we celebrate it? Okay, this is the story. So what is the story telling us? What's the lesson from the story? Okay. No idea. Sort of sacrifice. And we here. Yes. So if you can do that. So can you call me to equally sacrifice and obey Allah? What's your favorite surah in the Quran? Surah to Nas. Surah to Nas. Can you recite it for us? Yes, please. Okay, do it. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim. Kul auz bi Rabbi Nas, Maliki Nas, Ilahi Nas. Min Shayril was was lihan Nas. Allah zi was we sufi to do bi Nas. Maliki Nas wan Nas. Can Can you summarize what the surah says? Like what is about? What What is the surah about? The ending was serious. Like. <laughs> I, do, do you know the what the surah? You, you have no idea. Fine. Miss Masalema Ghana.
Kwena, oh, Mombuz. Ah! 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 Yamaka Kre! Push, ah! Did you go? Push! Melika, one, Melika, one, Melika, one, push! Ha! Masa! Mucho, mucho, mucho! Mucha, and a battery, and I said, I must do one PM, and I'm going to come Battery? Yeah, battery! Shia, dear. Jet. Next time, you should power jet car battery. Na e nyaw ko muta. Hey! What we be be look go? Want your mama. Yeah, the power jet car battery do gela ni ya. Power jet car battery come in sizes. They are durable and affordable. Contact the Rocks Ventures on 0209-570-913 or 0208-090-789. <laughs> Mr. Power Jet Car Battery, we catch them up. Power Jet Car Batteries. Oh, good that day. Body splash from Pinaman Cosmetics. Here you are. Pinaman Cosmetics? Yes, Pinaman Cosmetics. That's why. These are quality body sprayer. Pinaman Cosmetics, they are bummer. Pinaman Cosmetics for quality women body splashes. This is Royal Cardi Desire, Royal Cardi Glamour, Royal Cardi Charm that leaves you refreshed. Royal Cardi Body Splashes, quality products from Pinaman Cosmetics. Miss Marcelema Ghana. Okay, in Islam, um, like people have this perception that Dagombes are, um, like, how should I put <laughs> it? They are, uh -huh, they are aggressive. They are aggressive. They are irritating, they are yeah. aggressive. They don't do, do you think it's true or they are just exact? It's somehow true. The Dagombes. The Dagumbes, <laughs> the Dagumbes who were raised in the northern region are actually like that. Uh, Please, before you continue, Accra. whether they go uh, wherever they no. are, the blood is still the blood. The blood is still the blood, but it's like you are trained with it. But those in Accra, we don't really get that experience. They don't really train us with that spirit. So those there, they are trained with that spirit. So they grow up with their spirit. But we, those in Accra, sometimes we just say, hey, I'm a Dagumba, we just to. Get but, <laughs> but those there, when they say it, they mean it. They, they mean it, eh? Yes. So if a Dagumba tells me I'll see, true drowsy. You have to start praying. <laughs> well, these two people seem to know themselves very well. And they are going in for the audition. And I think it's the best for them. Hi. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. You've not been in. You don't know what's happening in there. Are you hopeful that you can pass? Very optimistic. Oh. <laughs> so what other different thing do you think you do from that? Uh, well, I need to be more confident. I need to bring up myself. I really have a whole lot that I really want to bring out through this pageant, actually. So they should expect a lot from me. Ha! She's telling you to expect a lot more. Mm, I'm waiting to see more. My name is Farida Yusuf Mohammed and I am 25 years of age. I completed Kenya University in the year 2016. I'm a banker by profession and then I'm um, here to be auditioned as the followers to continue here. Yeah. I studied sociology. Okay, and which bank? I'm with Echo Bank, please. Yeah, Echo Bank. Hey. All right, Nafisa. All right. No, it's not. No, oh, Farida. Yeah, Farida. And okay, and you are 
Um, Nafisa Musa, right, right, right. Okay. Go ahead. My name is Nafisa Musa. I'm from the Upper East Region of Ghana, Boko. But I, I live in Accra here, Medina. I, I study communication at Islamic University College, Ghana. I love to read a bit despite being a communication student. That's basically it. What's your favorite to write in the Quran? I like sort of um, Kafirun. Sure. Actually, I like it because it talks about the disbelievers. Yeah. Samir al Lazim, Auzu bi Allahi min ash-shaitani rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Kuliya ayyuha al-kafirun, la abudu ma tabudun, wala antum abidu na ma abudun, wala ana abidu na ma abatum, wala antum abidu na ma abudun. Lakum dinikum waliya din. Sallallahu alaihi Give the mic there. Any surah you want to? Yes, please. I like to recite Surah Al-Furqan. Surah Al-Furqan. I actually like this surah. I just like it. All right. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Sabarak al-lazhi nazzal al-fuqan ala abdihi liyakuna lil-alamin nazira. Al-lazhi lahu mulku al-samawati wal-awdi walam yatakhiz walada. Walam yatakhiz walada walam yakul lahu shariqun fi al-mulki wa khalqa kulla shay'un. Oh God, there are who took a deep. And you're being attacked. That why did you even go for such, you know, auditions? Because they don't, they don't even. Most of them haven't bothered to make uh, research about it or even go investigate if it's something really positive they just start to talk about it in a negative way because of the muslima because they're saying um, it's like saying miss christianity something like that how are you going to defend if defend this pageant if i'm to attack you in that way thank you first of all i would say it's because that person or that individual has hasn't got the chance to host this or he or she has no idea of what this pageantry is about. Secondly, I would say, I'll try to prove them wrong to what modesty is. Because if you are saying it's haram, it means you are coming to do something that is not right in Islam. But Miss Muslima is all about modesty. So I'll try to prove them wrong. And right at the stand, I'll just let the person know. I wouldn't wait or go on social media. I'll tell that individual right in your face and make you understand what it is. And, um, is there any story in the Quran that inspires you? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Can you tell us about it? Um, this, the ayah that says, um, Wasari um ila I've forgotten the the surah, but then the ayah is Wasari um ila magfurati mi rabbikum wa jannatin aldu hasamawati wal ard wa intat lil mutakin aladina yufikuna fi sarro wa darro wa alkaazmin al qayb wa alafin al nas Allahu yuhib al muasinin means you should forget and forgive and forget each other. That's what Allah says. That's what inspires me a lot. So after telling that person what Miss Muslima is, I would actually forgive you because you don't know what you, <laughs> you're really saying. Yes. Okay. Who makes you feel that way? Um, okay, so when I started my photography, I wanted to be a photographer, but to all the photography company I applied to, they talk about my height. Yes, so they say I'm too short. 
so how does it destroy it? Okay, so whatever you want. If they need someone to hold the stroke lights, the short box, I can't help. You can't help. And is that the only thing that you want to do? No, please. So I personally went home, sat down and started my photography behind my computer. So I'm good at Photoshop editing. And I know how to shoot too. Even with a camera, I sometimes rent camera outside. Don't let anyone define you. Sure. Huh? You're cute. And to our media sponsors, we have Bright TV, Bright FM 99.1, Abin 100.3 FM, The Spectator newspaper, Gamashi the blogger, who sweets 100.3 FM. And we are still engaging the ladies. Hi. Have you been to the audition? You are yet to. So what are your expectations? My expectations here is to achieve the dream so that I can use the platform to empower the Muslim women. So you want to empower Muslim women to do what? So actually, to... Hey! <laughs> Your name again, I didn't get that. Hamdiya to Salifu. Salifu. Hamdiya. Oh, okay. That's my friend's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're my friend. Baba, right? Baba too. In a minute, tell me about Islam. What will you say? Islam. When we say Islam... Islam is about peace. Islam talks, it just means peace. It doesn't just mean peace, unity, togetherness, and also to be knowledge. Our deen, Islam, as compared to other religions, Islam has, is a very broad perception about so many things involved. Yeah, we can talk about our five daily prayers. The Fajr, which is performed in the dawn, and the Zuhur, Asr, Maghrib, and Ishai. Yeah. And we also have pillars of Islam, which are the Kalimat Shahada, to testify that Allah is one. And Prophet Muhammad is his holy prophet. And zakat, to also give alms. Salat, to perform the five obligatory prayers. Psalm, to fast when it is time for fasting. And hajj, is to go, is a pilgrimage to the holy place, which is Mecca. Hamdiya, who's Hamdiya? You, Hamdiya, okay. Hamdiya, you stated that if you were to be crowned Miss Muslima, Ghana, um, you are going to... I didn't understand. That's why I'm trying to... Okay, so let me just read it out. I have realized that most Muslim communities in our country lack facilities like medical centers. And it is my dream always to help them. If I get the opportunity to do so, are you going to build a hospital? <laughs> no, because I didn't, I, I didn't understand. That's why I'm asking you. Please talk a bit louder. Please, I think if I get the opportunity, that's the dream I want to achieve for the Muslim woman. Yes, so and like, what's, what's the dream? Because I didn't get it. Okay, normally when they build hospitals, they don't build it within the Zongo communities. They build it out the Zongo communities and sometimes we are left out because... Are you sure? Are you sure? Because you know, Mamubi has... Yeah, ah, okay, then a please, very I'm big not big. away. Ah, wait, where are you from? Please, I'm from Kasua. I was at Tokwadi, but I'm now at Kasua. Okay. Okay, okay. So, you see, before you embark on a project, you need to actually get facts right make sure that your investigations are properly done and all of that so maybe we are not talking about the hospitals maybe you have something else in mind so i want you to brief me well enough convince me why i should you know beat everyone right now and give the crown to you that you know what start yes start doing your thing so tell me mm -hmm. okay i think i'm bold enough and have the confidence to participate in muslim salima
Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. My name is Faiza Isaidi. Um, I graduated from Kenya SC 2020. I read chemistry, so I'm a chemist. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been a secretary since, I think, SHS till now. And I'm waiting for my national service posting. But basically, I'm from the north. I'm a north now, from Tamale, uh, north. You are from Tamale, again. <laughs> this project, why are they bringing Tamale shares yes. like that? I want to win. No, no, you go. So I'm from Tamale, but I stay in Accra, so I'm, I'm at Spintex with my mom and dad and my siblings. Do you speak Tamale? Yes, I speak Tamale. I'm not Tamale. I'm not Tamale. Biara, biara. Ah, pom pom. Pom pom. I'm Khadija Yaya Kobila, 24 years of age, and from the Upper East, Ghana. That's Boku to be precise, but I stay in Tema. Tema. Yes, please. I'm a... <laughs> Temai. 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 I'm a final year nursing student from University for Development Studies. Actually, I'm on campus, but I had to just come for the audition so that I can go back. Oh, yes, that's please. nice. <laughs> I wish you all the best. Thank you. And how's the course going? It's going on well. I'm just yes, please. Do you love fashion? Yes, please. You do? Yes, please. And how has your fashion sense, you know, improved ever since you decided to, you know, do fashion or love fashion? Okay, actually, I went into makeup. So let me say I'm a makeup artist. Part-time? Yes, part-time. Because you can be a nurse yes, and makeup artist, so part-time. Mm -hmm. So at least fend for myself. Okay, in yes. school and all of that. Yes, please. And it's going on well? Yes, please, it's going on well. And are you a fully hijabi? Like, do you cover up throughout or you tie tear bands like me? Or? Okay, yes. I sometimes tie tear bands, sometimes I put on hijab, like the way I've dressed now. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Do you have challenges? Okay, UDS is even UDS, more yes. Islam yes, please. inclined. Have you... Have you, have you ever had any instance where you've, you've, sorry to ask this question, but you've wanted to switch religion before? No, please. Are you sure? Yes. Because my parents, they equally switched. They were formerly Christians and they switched. So both of them? Yes, please. Together or separately? Together. Let, oh, let me say, my dad converted my mom. Oh, so both Allah. of them converted to wow. Muslim. Yes. Islam. Yes. And they're practicing. Yes, please. Faiza, yes. you said you, your occupation is an entrepreneur. Yes. What do you do? Like, as, so for me? as a chemist, um, they teach us a lot of things. I can do parazon share butter, I can do sanitizer, I can do liquid soap and um, a bit of some crafts. Yes, because I'm from the north too. So, <laughs> so how do you empower ladies with all these talents? Well, um, I've always been a hijab person and I believe I'm an advocate when it comes to the empowerment of a Muslim lady. And I feel like from the way I dress, if someone sees me somewhere, the person is like, oh, this lady, she dresses nice, she speaks nice, she's decent. I want to be like her. Even if it's just one person, at least I know I've touched just like one person and probably she can touch many too if she decides to dress like that. Yes, so it's not more of my personality, but my outlook. Miss Mausolema Ghana. Okay, you know, there have been cases of rape within the past months and even past years. Yeah, and. I want to know what advice you'd give to these victims who are very timid to voice out um, their experiences. Okay, advice I have to give to the victim, or advice I have to give to the society as well. Especially those who have experienced. Oh, 
Yeah. Just relax. Yeah. May God forget us the for us that someone could be resting with what I do to And the person is very timid. The person is afraid to voice out. What would you do? I will encourage the person to to voice it out, to bring it out, and then to get a support from the media. What if the person doesn't want her face to? Like when, like when, yes, for the public. So if 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 she's able to um to voice to voice it out, people, the public may be able to help them in some ways, and then yeah, that's what I think. And then soda. So that you say you're an entrepreneur, what do you do? Um, I produce shower gels and hand gel. I learned it while in school and then to, you know, avoid this kind of or um, finishing the service and then being unemployed, I decided to take the strategy from there. And then I started by selling to close relations and friends. Okay, and then we yeah. know that um, a lot of people sell shower gels and all of that yeah. yeah what difference do you make well <laughs> how do you attract your customers okay what attracts my customers is the fragrance the thickness and the color and then you know there's this um locally produced shower gel that when you leave them for some time it will maybe for a period of one month it will be watery and then you cannot use it it's it doesn't lather but mine is absolutely different from the others. What is it that you do that attracts people to even have a taste or to f a feel, sorry, of your product? Well, I would say that, um, not me per se, but when you, get, when you buy my product and you use it and if it's effective for you, also recommend to a friend. So sometimes I get calls that, oh, maybe I had your number from maybe or I want, to, I want you to make a shower gel for me and that sort. Inshallah. And um, do you think when you were coming here, be honest with me, did you think that being a mother or a divorcee or a married person or something would, you know, minimize your chance of getting into the pageant? No. Because uh, the only thing I, I was thinking was this. Well, actually, excuse me, when I saw the program on telly, actually, when I saw it, I was really happy because I thought with my situations and with what I've passed through, I, could, I, I, I can have an impact on someone's life. I, because when you check our Zoom community, you check, we go to Nima, actually, I stay at Nima. When you check and you see the way some of we women are being maltreated by some of our men, in, all in the name of marriage, it's really, it's really sometimes it's scary. Say so when I saw the program, actually, I wanted to participate in it and then see how best I can also educate some of the young ones upcoming. Right? Miss Marcelema Ghana. Push, push, push. Next time, use the power jet car battery. Na in your home, Hey, the power jet car battery do get a niya. Power Jet Car Battery come in sizes. They are durable and affordable. Contact Deluxe Adventures on 0209-570-913 or 0208-090-789. Oh, damn. <laughs> Mr. Power Jet Car Battery, we catch up a queen. Power Jet Car Batteries. Oh, good day. Good day. Champion.
Rin Movement. Rin Papa. Um, excuse me. Hi. Um, but your perfume Rin how you see? Rin Body Splash from Pinaman Cosmetics. Here you are. Pinaman Cosmetics? Yes, Pinaman Cosmetics. Why? These are quality body sprayer. Pinaman Cosmetics, the Obama Cake. Pinaman Cosmetics, your quality women body splashes. This is Royal Cardi Desire. Royal Cardi Global. Royal Cardi Charm. That leaves you refreshed. Royal Cardi Body Splashes, quality products from Pinaman Cosmetics. So, first of all, I love to say a big thank you to everybody you guys have done amazing amazingly well it's just sad that we can't take everybody and you guys know that right you girls know that um so far so good i mean i wish i could we could take everybody but it's unfortunate that we can't so we just want to, i want to make this brief so that you know you don't pass on the corona. <laughs> As I said, it's sad that we can't take everybody. We just take the few that we have to. So we've been limited to take some certain amount of girls. All I just, or we want to tell you is don't stop. Don't stop doing whatever you're doing. Whether you make it or you don't make it. You are your most, you're your most, you are your Miss Muslima. No one can take that away from you. It's for all of us. Let's support it as much as we can. If you feel that whoever has been selected is someone that you also believe in, you know, can take up the, the, the task and then the, the troubles that it will bring because there are so many troubles that are going to come up with. But it's up to whoever would win, make a difference. Okay. I'm really proud of everybody here. We are proud. We keep on saying that you girls have done so well. Coming from Tamale, coming from Kumase, coming from Kasawa, coming from wherever. You guys have done so, so well. And I'm proud of you. We are proud of you. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your patience. And thank you very much for believing in this brand. God bless you. So they'll come and call you. You're clapping for me. So we'll call you in badges, we hand over your verdict to you, and then we'll take it from there. All right? Okay. Asalaamu As Alaikum and thank you. Assalamu alaikum Ghana is the grand and maiden edition of Miss Muslima Ghana 2020. This is the moment of truth. The judges have spoken and we are here for everything that they have for us. I will be joined by these beautiful ladies as they come in to pick up what their fate lies in. It's me, Humul Kusum Al Hassan. Miss Muslima Ghana 2020, we are still on. Miss Muslima Ghana. Hmm. I'm happy, so you all should be happy. What are your expectations? Why are you laughing? <laughs> okay, so when I mention your name, you just step forward and then come for Rihanna to is Akilu. Okay. Don't open. Sumaya Abubakar. Fatima to Musa. Maimuna Labaran 
Ubeida, I would do. Okay. So at this point. So when you open it, see a congratulations, it means obviously you've made it. If since sorry. Wow, wow, this is all five. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we'll see you outside. No, 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 you shouldn't be tensed. Oh, would they be lucky just as the other group? Okay, let's see. Kausa, look, man, step forward and pick your card. Kausa, come here, please. Al Hassan Baliatu Habiba Mohammed. You're not allowed to open. Sueba to Mustafa. Aisha Idris. So, Ms. Muslima Ghana 2020. What's your fate? What's your fate? What's your fate? What's your fate? Any congrats? Are you all true? Any congrats? You got wow great 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 so how many people got congratulatory message one okay so we'll see you in the next stage welcome what are your expectations to make it or to go out i like your courage so when i mention your name you just step forward and then pick you up fatima raji latifa adama you're not allowed to open until you are told latifa adams farida yusuf nafisa musa and fidaus jamal okay so Okay, so what was the all five? Hey, wow. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So <laughs> okay, so we'll see you in the next stage of the competition. Okay, bye. Come welcome. There's one troublesome girl in here. Multity. She knows herself. Why? Are you tensed already, Multity? <laughs> okay, so with me here, it's your fate. It determines whether you'll be moving to the next stage of the competition or you'll be stepping out. Whatever your fate is just know that this is not the end so when i mention your name just step forward and then pick your form jamila to umar you are not allowed to open hey fao hamza maltiti hamdiya salifu okay faiza isa 
and then we have Khadija Yahaya. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, if you are not able to make it, this is not the end. You can always try. Miss Muslima Ghana is here to stay. Bye bye. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can you line up here? Mm. Are you hopeful? Positive outcome? Okay, so whatever the outcome is, just take it in good faith. Some would cross to the next stage and others would have to lay back. But that doesn't mean you can't try next time. Okay, so when I mention your name, you're not supposed to open this. Just step forward, pick it and then go back. Fidels Abdul Moumin. Fidels. Faiza Yahaya. Saudatu Muhammad. Fati Muhammad. Zainab. Ishag. Okay. Yes, we want your happiness. It's important. Leila Ayuba, you are not allowed to open. Leila Ayuba, Zainab Saad. Okay. Mariam Safuwa. And then Mumtaza Salifu. Okay, so the next director. So welcome are you okay I don't like the mood in here you should be cheerful okay so with me here it's your cards and that determines whether you move to the next stage whatever your fate is just know that you can always try it's not about giving up it's about how well you are willing to bounce back and so when I mention your name just step forward Pick your card and go back. You are not allowed to open. Zakaria Machao. Okay. 
Okay. Is that Libaba to Abdullah? And Shakira Salam. <laughs> and Satura. Okay. Please, we want to see your happiness and we want to see your sadness. <laughs> What is it? You make it. Wait, what's your this thing? You, whoa! Oh, she's crying. Oh no 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 no! Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Wow. You come, 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 come and hike me. Congrats, 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 congrats. Thank you. Okay, so we'll see you in the next stage of the competition. It's been amazing and wonderful in here and we've had all the reactions from these ladies and today we are here to also hear from our judges. They did a lot of work and definitely we have to know what criteria they went through in bringing out these ladies. Now I'd like to speak to them. A beautiful scenario. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely coming to you. Yes, you had a head here. Yeah. <laughs> so, how did the whole thing go? Well, it was, it was exciting. It was fun. But, you know, the sad part was when we had to tell, you know, them if you're making it to the next level or not. It's sad because it's, it, but it's life. Well, what should I say? It's life. Okay, so judging from their demeanor and also that of um, questioning and all that, do you were you satisfied with their answers? Uh, some we were, some we weren't, because um, I think most of our young Muslim girls they've been trained that way to always you know keep calm in their corner. So I, I believe this is the first time some of them or most of them have actually stood in front of other people to express themselves to this this extent but so far so it went on well and this this is the first time we're having this so i'm i'm very hopeful that next year is going to be epic miss nari is very hopeful that next year is going to be great this is the maiden edition and perhaps some were just frightened i'm coming to miss uh, munirat no madame munirat the most beautiful my missus in our midst <laughs> how are you i'm fine Please. um you're looking good you're looking good so how did the whole thing go well it went well i'll say because it, it's not easy as a Muslim to be very bold. Growing up in schools, you realize that most of our Muslim ladies are very timid. When they ask questions, it is only the Christians who muster up to say and then express themselves. So most of the lecturers, I mean, look down upon some of us, which isn't right. So I'm very happy that these ladies have been able to show us what they've got. Okay. Um, I got some of the contestants saying you really made them like feel at home. Some of them were like, they were very tense, but then coming, well, was it something planned? Because it's like you made it easy for them. Mm, you know, I wanted them to feel belonging. Okay. Looking at me, I'm not too fat. Yeah. I'm very slim and most of them were slimmer like yeah. me. So I think when they see me, they become comfortable because the judges... Uh, when, it, when judges are all like, I don't know, if, uh, fat, yes. they become very, very, very timid. Yeah. So, 
We've heard from Ms. Uh, Mrs. Monira. Next year, you should try if you're not able to make it this year. This is Ms. Muslima Ghana 2020. I'm Homo Kusum Al Hassan. We have Accra City Hotel, Fadiga Creations. We have Bay Editing. And our media sponsors, we have Bright TV, Bright FM 93.4. We have Aben 94.9 FM. We have Sweet, which is 100.3 FM. Thank you. Sponsors, Royal Spark GH, Capital Cafe and Restaurant, Not Cosmetics Ghana, Zahanaf Shoes, Bay Clothing, Accra City Hotel, Moon's Beauty Parlor, 